Esther chapter 8 rather, verse 1 to 8. So Esther chapter 8, verse 1 to 8. When you found numbers, let me know. Right there. Or we're going to be alternating. He says, And Balak said unto Bela, What hast thou done unto me? I took thee to curse my enemies, and behold, thou hast blessed them all together. Verse 12. And Balak said unto him, Come, I pray thee, with me unto another place, from whence thou mayest see them. Thou shalt see but the uttermost part of them, and shalt not see them all, and curse me them from thence. And he said unto that, Stand here by thy burnt offering while I meet the Lord yonder. And when he came to him, behold, he stood by his burnt offering, and the prince of Moab with him. And Balak said unto him, What hath the Lord spoken?
Will somebody say yes? yes. He has chosen us to be victors and not victims. Somebody say yes. yes. It is God's plan for you and I to have continuous victory. Amen. 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 I want to say it again. It is God's plan for you and I to have continuous victory. Yes. yes. We know this because when he went to the cross and when he rose on the third day, he rose with all power in his hand. Somebody say yes. yes. And he said, Behold, I give unto you power. Amen. To do what? To trade upon serpents and scorpions and all these things. Amen, somebody. So it is God's plan that we are blessed. Now you've got to understand that we serve a God who is a blessed God. Amen. And he is not just a blessed God, but he is in the blessing business. Somebody say amen. amen. Now the word of God says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that what dwell therein. So therefore, God is the founder of the earth. Somebody say yes. yes. Uh -huh. When we look in the book of Genesis, we see where God set out on nothing, uh, set out on darkness, uh, set out on chaos, opened his mouth uh, and spoke words and words took life. Come on, talk to me, somebody. That means that the God that we serve, he is uh, the creator uh, of not just the heavens, uh, but the earth and everything that is in the earth was created by God. Come on, somebody talk to me. The Bible said, for by him was everything created. And there is nothing that was created that was not created for him and by him. Uh, that is why that, that mankind, we have a spirit of creativity. We are creating creatures because we serve a God who is the creator. Come and talk to somebody. For the Bible declares unto us that when God created man, he created him in his image and in his likeness. Come and talk to me, somebody. So the fact that my God is a creator, it still means that I have the ability to create things. There is a creative spirit that is in me. I wish I had a church up in here. You've got to understand, therefore, that's why the word of God says, you can call those things which aren't as though they were. That is the creativeness of God that is on the inside of you. He goes as a further and he says, well, whatever you bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. And if you lose it down here, it's loose up there. Somebody said, glory. Yeah. 
say, I am unable to do otherwise. The definition of reverse means to make something the opposite of what it was. It means to alter, it means to change or go back. So it simply means uh, when God says, I am blessed and it cannot be reversed, it simply means that whatsoever word God has spoken over my life cannot go undone. It remains, it stays. Can I preach just right there? So even when I go in the wilderness, surely goodness and mercy. When I'm sick, surely goodness and mercy. When I'm hungry, surely goodness and mercy. When I'm tired, surely goodness and mercy. Shall follow me all the days of my life. When somebody said, it cannot be reversed. Uh, come on, somebody, get in your spirit. Uh, Tell somebody on the left and say, it cannot be reversed. Uh, it cannot be altered. Uh, it cannot be changed. Uh, because God has released the word uh, into the atmosphere. Uh, and today we said that the reason why God's word uh, cannot return on to keep void uh, is because God's word uh, is God. In the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, it says what? And God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. In the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Psalms 1 verse 1 says, Blessed is the man that walking not in the counsel of ungodly. Come and talk to this somebody. Yeah. Psalm 33 verse 1 says, Oh Lord is no, my shepherd. I shall not want. So the Corinthians 9 verse 8 says, And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times having all that you need you will abound in every good work. Look at somebody say, You are blessed. Number 6 verse 24, it is my favorite. Number 6 verse 24, it says, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord made his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord shall lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. The Lord is in a peace in the midst of the storm. It is a very bad thing to go to war 
with the people of God. Give this a bit somebody said, don't trouble me. Defeat them. 
some people will go
and I'm coming back to this because I'm going to tell you now. When you went home and complained to his wife, his wife said to him, okay, why don't you build some gallows? And tomorrow, you go to the king and require the head of Mordecai. Hey, man said, that sounds lovely. I will build them gallows. And I am going to go to the king. Now, according to the scriptures, 
because Jesus Christ also came through the lineage of Abraham. And I am connected to Jesus. I am a spiritual Jew, not God Almighty. So you've got to understand if the devil is right to you, he's messing with the wrong time because I got God on my side. I got God on my side. The omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the all powerful God, the raising God, the I am the I am God. So go back to bed in the bed. But before I go, let's just finish this up and we can wrap it up. So by this time, Mordecai was blessed. And the queen went to the king. And the scepter was lifted. And a banquet was being arranged. And she invited the king and Haman to the banquet. When they sent the banquet, she said, well, you asked me my petition, I'm paraphrasing. And my petition is that the decree that has gone out against my people by some wicked man, that it be altered. The king says, but who is this wicked man? She said, you, he's right there. <laughs> hey man. The Bible said that the king got up and went up to the garden. And when he went out to the garden, came and now decides, to plead for his life with the queen. So the king walked in on Haman in a very uncomfortable position with his queen. Right. And he said, Do you want to take your way up to your house? And the Bible said that the people said, Behold, now Callus have been set up for Mordecai. He said, Well, take him. Because it was still a decree uh, that was sent out against the Jews, uh, and only the king could reverse the decree. So she said, Your king, if I find favor in your sight, uh, if it's pleasing to you, I need you uh, to do something for me. My people, uh, they are about to be wiped out, uh, and I can be comfortable uh, sitting in the palace, uh, knowing that an assignment of death uh, is assigned to them. Uh, so she said, If it please the king, Thank you. 
be my name. Whatever you see with my ring, whatever it is, nobody can change it. Can't change, can't reverse. It's see with the ring. See?
he has struggles and heartaches and failures. And the devil says, you ain't blessed. You ain't blessed. If you were blessed, you would have struggled. That's enough. Everybody that walked with an extra blessing or a heavy blessing on their life went through hell. David went through hell. Joseph went through hell. Daniel went through hell. Talk to me. Moses went through hell. Joshua had a share of troubles. Ruth went through her struggles. Talk to me. Elijah. Elijah. Ezekiel.
You see, the evil took over when you go on your job. And you're walking past the haters. You gotta walk differently, because you gotta let them know that you're best. Even if you got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, skip to the doctor's appointment. And when the doctor looks at you and says, What's wrong with you? I just got reminded. I am blessed. And guess what the blessing says? For me, the fool.
You know some of you put God on a little box? God can only make somebody give you a hundred pop. Put him in a little box. God can only make somebody give you a fifty pop. In a little box. In a little box. The God that sits on the circle of the universe. You put him in a little box. The God who call light in darkness. The God who took dust and made man and put a ring from the first surgeon. First surgeon? Yeah. First surgeon. Take a ring from a man. Put it with sleep. Every now and then you gotta do a road check. 
you gotta see who's on your own. Mm -hmm. Who you're sitting beside. You see, because some people, they ain't there. They hear, but they don't hear. You know what I'm saying? And so, when a word is released like this in the atmosphere, you gotta find somebody who may come in agreement with you about what God is about to do. So the person that he's standing beside don't look like he's somebody. They can agree with you. Just find somebody else. It's true. When you watch the voice, they tell the people, be you choose your coach. You got the power. It's going to get you to the next round. It's same in church. You got to pick who you choose who you come in and bring with. Because if that person not believing in one word of the preacher say, when you touch and agree, bow to you. Oh, snaps. Am I preaching too hard? Didn't Jesus went to heal Jairus' daughter and he put out some people? Yes. It's a call.
that I'm going to buy a home. So I say, yes, sister. Take over what you know. Tie up a parent. Anybody tie up a parent? I 
and they took the keys and they carried it and they said, God said they give out the car. You know what God did? He yeah. gave out the car. Just like that. Yeah. Obedience. Yeah. So we're going to talk with me and we're going to come out of this place and I have. I'm gonna go, I'm about to swipe my car. Swipe it. For everything that I said I need, and God sees my need, I'm going to release a praise on it. And when I release a praise, I'm thanking God for it because I am already blessed. So I'm thanking Him in advance for what He is doing and what he is about to do. We have four people receiving the Holy Ghost today and one reclaimed. Do we have anybody else in this house that love the Holy Ghost? Anybody else? One? Just one person? I just see one hand. All right, we're gonna pray for you after this. Come, praise, come, 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 come. Drum up, come back. Thank you. 